Welcome back to Sharon Cullen Art. Today I'm going to be doing a quick uh, unboxing, unbagging of some new brushes that I received. And I uh, wanted to show you also, many of you have been asking how this brush is doing for me now. This Rosemary and Company brush that I got, I fixed just now. Um, it's still not real tight. In fact, I think I'll need to tighten it more. But basically what I did was just took a pair of pliers up at the tip and I've been slowly pinching it in like this. But it stretches back out again. So I don't know how long it's going to last. Many of you gave me great ideas about uh, either pinching it or or putting gummy stuff on it or tacky stuff on it and that's all great too I just don't want it to gum up the works you know what I mean but um, I can do that when I use it and be fine I just carry my trusty Leatherman with me and I should be okay now the other thing though with this brush that I've been finding well it does hold a lot this is the Rosemary and Company squirrel mop travel brush and um, it, it comes to a very nice point. Then somebody else told me, try the Isabay one. I never know if I'm saying that right. Isabay, Isabay, Isabay. Um, but anyway, it has the hole in the end. And apparently the Rosemary and Company brushes now are supposed to have the hole in the end. And I didn't get one that came like that. I've not been pleased really with Rosemary and Company. Um, their brushes I found have worn out quicker than other brushes. And that's something that I'm going to show you when I open these other brushes today. Now this Isabay brush did not get very good reviews. And I'm kind of wishing I hadn't bought it. First of all, the point looks great, but when you get it wet and press it to paper, um, you lose the point very quickly. You have to constantly be spinning it in order to hold a point. And it's just not fine enough for my liking. But it'll be great for mopping, I guess. Um, but you know, when you go out to plein air paint um, or or Urban Sketch or whatever, you want one brush. I mean, it's nice to just have one brush to use. And my favorite brush right now is my Winsor & Newton brush that I got. Um, the one that I told you I had to wait years on. Well, hello, baby. Somebody's coming to see me. <laughs> um, this one is the Winsor & Newton Professional Watercolor Sable Pointed Round. And the pointed rounds are very, very pointy. Shh. I'm not talking to you. You can lay down. You can lay down. Okay, just lay down there and sit with me. Good boy. Um, but you can see how pointy these brushes are and they hold their point. They're terrific brushes um, and I can't recommend them enough. Plus they're kind of ergonomic the way they get thinner and wider and I really like that feel in my hand. But um, a lot of you have wondered, you know, do I use do I ever use synthetic brushes? And I do use synthetic brushes. And my argument has always been that first and foremost, they um, they usually don't last for me. The tips wear out. And right now I've been talking to um, Escoda regarding a brush that I, that I um, had bought from them years ago, a travel brush. And they wanted to see photos of it. And I showed them how the tip had bent uh, at the top and I lost my point and it happened very quickly back when I wasn't spending a lot of money on um, Hang on a minute Back when I was just starting out and I didn't want to use a lot of expensive supplies so um, I'd buy these things and they'd wear out on me But there is one synthetic that I do like and they don't seem to wear out and they're very cheap and that is Golden Taclon. Now, some of the brushes that I've gotten are these Zem brushes. I bought these, you know, I use these a lot for my um, gouache painting. And I use the, uh, they're like a filbert, a pointed filbert, an oval brush. Um, cat's tongue, that's what I'm trying to think of. Uh, but these Zem brushes have been terrific for me. They do wear out over time. And I've gotten a ton of use out of them. But I needed some more small ones. So I got these 
Zen brushes on Amazon. I'll try to remember to post all the links in my description box for you. Um, if you ever have questions for me about something, check my description box first because sometimes the things are in there. But I got a 20 at, 10 at, 5 at, and a zero. And what I mean by at is how many zeros there are. And let me pull the tops off of these. Here's one. You can see this is the 20 at. They're really nice brushes. And Golden Taclon seems to hold its point longer. The other ones that I got by Zem are another style or series that I don't think I've ever used before. Um, and I get a lot of their smaller brushes in synthetics when I really want to have a nice stiff point. That's when I will get those. Now these came in a pack. They're all individually wrapped, but they were in this pack together. Um, these were also from Amazon. And these are the Golden Synthetic Rounds Series 9742. And on these, I got the size 1, 3 at, huh, 10 at, and a size 2. I didn't know I was getting those smaller ones. But um, they're nice to have the different different size points. So I'm going to try those. And then, last but not least, I got two boxes. I didn't know they were going to come in these big boxes. Um, they're actually called mixed media short handle brushes. And you can use them for watercolor or... Um, gouache or acrylic or whatever you want to use them in. Um, while I'm opening these, though, I will tell you that out there right now, over my shoulder in the studio, Pat and our contractor Carl are putting the drywall in. Whoop. So we are getting there, people. Okay, and here's the box that I got. These are by King Art, and these are uh, the um, Precisions, I believe. So they come in different styles as well. Oh, I got this little extra mini thrown in. That's cute. That'd be a nice brush for um, taking with me. It's a little flat. That was a throw in little extra gift, I guess. Hopefully if they put one in the other one, it's a different style, so I get two different ones. But this is a white synthetic. And it looks like about, nah, it's not quite a quarter inch. It's probably more like an eighth of an inch um, flat. And then these come very well um, packaged. And they come like this. Now I got these in larger sizes. Because I do like this other brush that I have, and I know it's going to wear out because Princeton's always wear out on me as well, but I love this brush. This is one of my favorite synthetic brushes. It's the Princeton Aqua Elite Long Round. It's a number 12, and I love this brush because I can do an entire painting with one brush. It's like having the, the rigor, and it's got such a big belly that you get a lot of paint in there as well. So I bought these to try them and see if they will work. And again, the reason I got the Golden Taclon is because the points don't wear out as fast. So I'm going to put them to the test and we will see. Now in this set, I got the number two, number worn off, no, number four, <laughs> number six, eight, 10, 12, 14, and 16. The 16 isn't that large, but it's pretty darn large. You can see with my hand, with my finger, how large it is. It's about as big as my pinky almost. <laughs> but um, when you compare it to the number 12 of the Princeton Aqua Elite, you can see the difference. I guess it's more like a 16. There is quite a difference there, but I'm looking forward to trying these. I think that they could be good for gouache as well as for um, watercolor, and I'm going to paint a little bit with them. Now, I was telling you some of the reasons I like real hair, 
And I've told many of you in comments that I like the real hair because they, uh, hang on one second. I'm just trying to get a thing here that I can cut. They, I like the real hair because they last forever, it seems. And, you know, the only brush I've ever had wear out is my number eight round silver black velvet. And I'll show you what's happened to that one. Um, oops, that's not it. Let me see here. Is this it? Here it is. You can see it's now granted it's dry, but see how those edges have kind of splayed out down here. That stays like that when it's wet. It's not real noticeable at first, but as you're painting, you can really see it. Let's see if I can show you. See, they're still splaying out. And the thing with the silver black velvets, although they are squirrel, they also have a synthetic blend in them. They're, they're uh, Rizlon as well. So this brush was my first brush that I bought that had squirrel hair and I've used it for probably five years and it's just wearing out now. I need to get a new number eight. But the reason I like the real hair is because they last so long. Now, many people say to me, well, what about the animals, Sharon? You know, and I say, well, what about the environment? When you use a synthetic brush, many people don't realize the processes that are involved in making that hair and the synthetics are petroleum based and they're destroying our environment and you got to think about your children and your grandchildren and who's going to live here after we're gone and so you can go either way animals aren't hurting our environment yeah are we killing them yes have we been killing them for many years yes we have and we've been eating them and everything now i understand if you're vegan you don't want to do that but I argue to a vegan, why would you want to destroy your environment with synthetics? Um, it could go either way. Oh, and I did get another extra brush. This is a throw-in on this box. This one is longer, and it is a long flat. Now, I don't know what use I would have for this. I might use that in um, watercolor painting, but bristles were kind of flayed. I just wanted to make sure that they stay flat and they do. They came in on the sides, but that's a nice brush. I don't normally use a long flat. I'll use the, the ones that are called brights. I like those or regular flats. Now these also come with some, some information. They tell you about the head of the brush, the ferrule, the handle, how you need to care for them. Um, there's our, their, their ferrules are made with nickel plated brass, which offer the best adhesion and is double crimped at the bottom to ensure an extra secure bond. What they mean by that is this area right here is double crimped. And that was another thing I started to talk to you about on this Isabe brush. The bad reviews on this. These little brass things are very loose. Uh, I've tried to tighten them, but these slide up and down. I can't show you while I'm holding it with one hand, but um, they they move around. I don't know if you can see this, how they, they move up and down. They're very loose, um, and they poke out, so they poke your fingers, and I've tried squeezing them in with pliers. Uh, I've tried giving them an extra twist to tighten them, but they are loose and I'm afraid one day I'm gonna lose my ferrule completely. Uh, so I'm not real happy with this brush. I wish I hadn't bought it. I took the advice of one of our, um, one of my viewers and she loves hers, but I just, for me personally, it wasn't what I wanted. Now here's the other set that I got. These are also made by Precision King's Art. And uh, these are the Max Rounds, and these are one of their higher step-up synthetic brushes. And these have a very, very long point on them. So let me pull these out of here. I can get this out of the box. And I will show you the number eight. 
this is really, really a long point. See how long that point is on there? Very nice. Um, and they're also ergonomic so that when you're holding them, they're bigger here, narrower here, and then bigger again, which makes it very comfortable to hold on to. So I'm looking forward to using these a lot too, both of these sets. Uh, but I did want the fine brushes for some of my finer work because some of my other fine brushes, I lose them. That's another reason I buy cheap ones. And um, if they wear out, I'm not worried about them. I just toss them in the trash. But I do have tons of them. And uh, these ones, well, this one is a Kalinsky mix. And I have all sorts of others. But most of my brushes are still packed away. So I'm going to unpack and I'm going to say, oh, my God, I got too many brushes. But could you ever have too many brushes? I don't think so. That's all I wanted to show you guys for today. I think I covered everything I wanted to cover. Um, leave me a message down below. If you like the video, please hit like. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will be coming back at you soon with a building vlog video, which will be uh, coming up shortly. We're getting some snow right now, so I'm going to show you that as we say goodbye. So remember, everybody, be courageous, paint with wild abandon, and most of all, be kind to each other. Take care.